Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to my SimCity video tutorials. In this video I am going to continue on with the challenge. As you know from my previous video, my challenge is to build a city that has a 95 approval rating from 100,000 population and is self-sustaining, meaning that all of its power, water, sewage, garbage is going to be supplied by itself. So in the last episode I had planned out what I am going to put and where. I have placed my wind power plant, my water tower and my sewage plant. I have said that I am going to put the garbage dump about here but only once it is actually necessary and that is in about one or two days in game time. Now it's time to set up the road network. I have just a little bit more than 24,000 which is going to be plenty since the only roads I'm going to be using are the low density roads. Now I am thinking that I can just keep on using this grid but my housing is going to be on the left and right side and not above and below so I'm going to have my roads going like this and the housing is going to be on the probably right side because here in the middle I have this avenue on which I do not wish to zone so any housing that I make is going to be on medium density on its like this, on the right side of the street it's going to have its entrances and exits, then the next, the next, the next, and until we hit this street, which is also going to be on the right. Now since the road guides are such as they are, if I were to place my road here, that would mean that I would have more than enough room for a medium density building and it would actually waste space. So I'm not going to be starting from here, but rather from here. So I'm going to have some of my streets go here. Now because I do not wish to expand too much at the start because I don't wish to be in the minus after a few days I'm going to put only little bits of stretch of road right here so that I can have the road guides go on to the left and I can see where my homes are going to be. Now as you can see I am actually still going to have this little bit of wasted space here. I'm thinking I'm going to leave it as it is for now, but later on I might move this avenue onto a side and then see about gaining enough space on one of these sides for double medium density buildings. I'm going to do the same on this side. Just place small pieces of road so that I can have road guides telling me exactly the width for the medium density homes. There would probably not be enough space between this avenue, yep, not enough space between this avenue and this road, but since there is more than enough room here, all I have to do later on is just move this avenue a little bit onto the right and I'm going to have just enough space here as well as here. Okay, now that I have this small road set up, I can start expanding this area. Since I do have this little problem with the size in here, I'm not going to build these streets, but the streets next to them. I'm going to just continue on with these streets up here. In order to connect them, I can use either this grid line or this one. Now since I've said that I'm going to put some of my mirrors manners, my town hall, about here that means that I can use this grid already for homes which means I can use this size and it's going to fit perfectly and as I said in the previous video I'm okay with four-way intersections for the moment because I am only going to have low density buildings and not too many cars or trucks moving in but later on I am going to be deleting the four-way intersections and making sure to have as few of them as possible I just need to connect these streets back into place. Now from here I can go on to the right and have another side street. Now whenever you are making a large grid system like this you have to remember that if you were to just zone along this street there would be no place for cars to turn around so if a car misses a home that's all the way down here and instead of going into this home and he then figures out there's not enough space 
is going to continue on all the way up here turn about and then go to the other home so that is why you need to place an additional cross street from now and then now i just need to zone some industrial now before i zone i have to continue on with these two streets You do not really need a lot of industrial when you're just starting your map. You only need a little bit because even though you're going to have a lot of shops opening up in order to service your citizens with goods, you really do not have to make sure that there is enough freight. Even if you have around 70% freight, all the shops are still going to be operational. Now I'm going to leave this part here empty because I may need to add more industrial later on. So my first commercial buildings are going to be about here. Now that that's done, I can have some residential. Now the distance that sims will walk to get their goods is something of a hit and miss. Sometimes you're going to have a little bit more of a problem getting them to walk longer distances. Sometimes they will want to. So you should try and go with about three or four times the length of commercial for residential between two commercial areas. Now that all of this has been zoned out, so now we can let the time start and see our sims moving in. Now already I can build the town hall. Since I said I was going to place it around here, I can either choose the right or the left side. I need to leave enough space for the town hall upgrades, so that should be just about this much. Now since I am specialized in education, I'm getting this education bubble. When I click on it, they are going to tell me that I need to build them a school, and they are going to pay me 1000 if I give them a school. Since I have the town hall, I can pop a grade school. Now, as I said, I want to have my grade schools, my hospitals, police stations, fire stations, about here in the middle. Now, I do have a little bit more money and I could now build this runabout in the middle that I talked about. And that would be the runabout. That is where I am going to put the school at, but I need 16,000 for the school, so I have to wait a few more hours. Now I already have 27,000. This means that I can make the great school. I am going to place it inside of this runabout with just enough space for two more classrooms. Now I need these bus stops. Now when it comes to the school bus stops, you don't really have to place a lot of them. Those small children seem to want to walk even farther than their parents. Now that I have the bus stops placed, and the school is going to become operational in the morning, I can just keep running the time. Now you have to keep an eye out for fires and the health issues. Whichever one comes up first you have to make the according building. If you have a first fire you need to build the fire station. If you have the first case of an injury or sickness you have to build a clinic. Usually it's the clinic you need the first. As I said here's the first case of a sick sim. He's up here and he got sick. So now I need to build a clinic. In order to build it, I will have to wait a little bit longer in order to have the money. There we go, 20,000. Now, the question is, can I build the clinic here in the middle and will my sims be covered by that clinic? So, since I'm building this grid and I wanted to centralize my services, that means that I have to build more streets that are going to connect this middle part with the outline streets. Now that the clinic is here, you can see that the only places where the green coverage is indicated is on this avenue. But 
if I connect the avenue with the inner streets like this now you see since I have connected the street there is coverage for the sims now I just have to wait and get a little bit of more money so I can connect onto this side as well now that we have this connection if you look at the coverage map we can see that the clinic is now covering the street as well as this one now the next thing that is about to happen is I'm probably going to have my first fire so I have to make sure to have enough money speed up and wait for it I seem to have another mission from the school it says that I need more buses so if I add two more school bus stops two more school bus slots and have enough students going to the school with buses I'm going to get 15,000 now another problem has come up I seem to have too many patients my clinic has been called in to treat 14 people but I only have treatment capacity for 10 upgrading your clinic costs 12,000 so now I have to spend money on that now for the first time I have garbage if I look at this map I can see that my sims have made garbage so that means I need to plop a garbage dump I'm going to continue on with this road here and since the garbage dump is so big just like the wind farm I'm going to do the same trick as I did in my previous video go close to the edge of the map and then place the garbage dump onto the edge of the map onto the road There we go, two trucks are more than enough for about 600 garbage cans. Once you get to 700 then you might want to think about getting some more garbage trucks. Now that the school is out I can save money by turning the school off until about 3 in the morning on the next day. And here we go, we have our first fire. I have more than enough money and I can build the fire station. The fire station I'm going to place right about here now in order to make sure it's going to get to the fire as fast as possible I'm going to place the fire alarm now that it's 4 a.m. I'm going to turn the great school back on so that it can grab its workers and be ready for the new kids and the second school day I can use the time to check on my balance I have three available jobs for low volt workers, 500 for medium volt, but as you can see every building works without them. I have some unsatisfied customers, but that is fine. I also have more than enough freight, which is great. Now I have 800 students in total, which means that this school is going to have to be upgraded. So add one classroom here and another bus here now for this mission that has been fulfilled and now I'm going to receive 15,000 and here is finally a new mission now it says to expand the classrooms it will give me 20,000 if I build another classroom and have more students so I'm going to go give myself a second floor and already it's done another additional 20,000 simulants for my bank account now let's see just how many do I actually need I have 800 students which means that I'm going to have to upgrade the school bus slots as well as extra classrooms 750 for 800 should be quite enough I don't really have to educate every single kid there we go, this mission is almost done, I just need to add a department of education, which I could easily do now that I have enough money. Hey, 
Department of Education, right here. The also beneficial part of this building is that you can build it away from the main building and have enough room here for these extra wings. When it comes to the police, I seem to have my first criminal. That means that I need a police station. Now I have a run out of space in this runabout, but that's okay, I can build the police station about here. I'm using 2.3, so I can still build more low density housing and have enough power. The water I have plenty, surge capacity I have plenty, but I would need to add some extra garbage trucks in order to pick up garbage if I make any more of it. So the city is quite profitable, even with taxes only set to 9, which I can increase to 10, since I did just give them all the civil services, so the taxes have to go up, don't they? The population is well balanced, I only have a few unemployed, but that's because the grade school is closed once. I open it again, these unemployed are going to become available jobs. Unsatisfied, like I said, you can leave a few of them unsatisfied. The freight is almost exactly balanced, which is great. I think this video is going to be long enough as it is, so this is it for this episode. Since I have yet to name this city, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So stay tuned on my channel for more and make sure to put in your own idea for this city's name. Thank you for watching.